in our xml transformation part 1 video we have taken a xml source call fair transformation and send the data to a target table so the mapping is so this is the mapping that we have taken it's a very simple mapping we passed an xml direct xml as a source call fair transformation and transform the data into a target table and the session ran successfully that we observed in our part 1 video now the data in our target table so see so this is the data that we have in our target table in our employee source table we have only two records so that one smith 10 and two allen 20 you can see the data one smith 10 and two allen 20 if you want we can insert one more record here and we can see the data so imply number is 3 john department number 30 i am saving this xml now i will run the workflow first flow is in running state once it is successful we can see the data so in session log you can see three records so three records we can see the same data in our target table earlier we have two records now we can see under three records total five records so the new inserted records one two three so this is stood load the data from an xml source to a target table now we do a simple reverse operation where we do create an xml xml generator xml generation using a table data so we will take this as our source table and we will generate an xml so here uh, i have two databases source and target i will move this table into our source database I am taking it as source select star into emp from target dot emp so the table is created in our source database select star from emp now we will create an xml using this data this is nothing but xml generator so this xml generator transformation uh, as well as it is also an active transformation and connected transformation we use this to create xml inside a pipeline nothing but inside a mapping uh, finally we will get an xml as an output it read data from a messaging system such as uh, tipco and mqc dishes or from other sources such as a files or databases whatever it may be the source we will generate an xml as an output and use it when we need to extract data from relational sources and process xml data to targets as i said uh, we can take data from the databases and generate an output xml files the xml generator transformation accepts data from multiple ports and writes xml to a single output port means from multiple different uh, source databases entities we can gather the data and create a single xml file now we will see simple xml file generation uh, for this whatever the employee source i have employee table source that i created in our source database i will take here import from the database that is uh, our source database it's it is from oledb connection in dbo schema employee table i am taking it as source so this is the employee table we have now i will 
so for now we do not have any target for this the target going to be an xml okay so again for targets i am importing xml definition so here uh, we do not have any xml uh, xsd file defined so i will take it as a non xml sources so non xml sources are nothing but uh, i will take the table structure if you, uh, as an xml uh, output if we have an xsd source directly we can give our implied table xsd source and we can use that as we do not have any xsd nothing but we haven't created an xsd file i'm taking non xml sources as an implied so with this uh, the same structure will be created again the same wizard i'm taking it's in hierarchy uh, hierarchy relationships normalized xml use finish so i'm applying to all the tables a table with the name amp already exists in your repository you can either rename the table or replace the table in the repository so it's already there uh, i will rename employee underscore xml okay so it has created so this employee is a target table where we have seen in our part 1 this is a target xml in our current video if you see this structure and the source structure would be same and even xsd also data type also now uh, in mapping designer we will take another so this is xml source now i will take another mapping uh, m underscore xml underscore target okay now i will take our sources mp to here this is our employee source uh, and i will take our target xml mp xml here now i will map these three with the these three ports now mapping creation is successful I will create a session for this mapping in workflow manager in task developer s underscore m underscore xml target I am asso associating this session to xml target I am changing the properties so in the connection tab i need to take the relational connection the source database connection to source and i no need to mention this employee connection and again the source connection value as we know we can specify source and connect coming to the file directories of xml target so where we need to store this file so nothing but the output file directory that we need to give so this is output file directory I will give the output file directly is same as our earlier file. So I will give the structure here and the file name I will keep it as it is in the source and the target XML you can see the same structure here. Then now I will create a workflow for this in workflow designer w underscore XML target. Okay. I'm taking this xml target into here and joining using line task now workflow creation successful i will run this workflow you can see the monitor is done successfully you can see the session log so here the load summary emp xml with requested rows file load into our xml file now we can see the data in our table again so this is a source table data five records one two one two three smith allen smith allen john and 10 20 10 20 30 in our source directory the new file 131 just now it's created we can see the data we can directly open in the world and see the structure 
so this is the structure this is the root emp and employee details employee one employee name so these are the details we can see if you want i can open this in the simple notepad so this is a standard line the transformation generates and the x root is our root directory and employee is a sub root directory emp and these are the values employee number employee name and employee department number so this one for each and every employee we can see these three values like this See, this is the structure that we that that was created by our informatica mapping. Now we covered XML generator transformation as well as XML source qualifier transformation, uh, and we left it with XML parser transformation. We will see what is XML parser transformation in detail and how it works. Thank you.